Examples of this are, for example, HCl plus water. The H plus from the HCl goes onto the water, give the H3O plus, and you end up with Cl minus. So that's an example of H2O acting as a base because it's accepting the proton from the acid, which is hydrochloric acid. The second example shows water acting as a proton donor, as an acid, because the water reacts with the ammonia to give OH minus and NH4 plus. So the last thing we need to consider is the ionization of water. So in pure water, there's always some migration of the protons between water molecules. So if you've got two water molecules, as shown in this equation, one might end up as the HBO plus ion, and one would end up as the OH minus. So because water can act as a base and an acid, sometimes two molecules of water will act, one as a base and one as an acid. We can simplify this to write water giving H plus and OH minus. Although this is a simplification because the H plus is not by itself, it is associated with the water, so it is a H3O plus. Now, as you know from your work in equilibria, we can write equilibrium constant for this because it's a reversible reaction. Now, for this example, we have a special case, so instead of calling it KC as usual, we call it KW. And we have a special name for it too, it's known as the ionic product for water. And the expression for this is KW is H plus concentration times by OH minus concentration. Now if you think back to your work on the equilibria, if you had a normal KC, you would then have divided that by the concentration of water, which is the reactant. However, because the volume of the water is so massive and it's constant, we can assume that it doesn't need to be in this expression. So, what we find is, is at a room temperature of 25 degrees C, the value of Kw is always 1 times 10 to the minus 14. And you'll see the units are, of it are moles squared decimeters to the minus 6. Don't worry about remembering this value, you're normally given it in an exam, but you do need to be able to use it. So because we know Kw, and we know that it's 1 times 10 to the minus 14, we can then, if we know the concentration of H+, plus, or the concentration of OH minus, we can then work out what the other one is by rearranging the equation. So back to our lesson objectives now, which were to know that a base is a proton acceptor and to know that acid-base equilibria involve the transfer of protons. Also to know that water is weakly dissociated and that Kw is the concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus. As usual, if you don't feel that you've met these objectives, then go back and rewatch the video or look at your textbook or use whatever online notes you've been using to make sure that you do know these before you come to the lesson.